Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com. This is part 20 of our Coded UI video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about assertions in Coded UI testing. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 19 since this part is going to have some of the code snippets from part 19 as well. So what is assertions? According to Wikipedia, the definition of assertions is an assertion is a predicate, a true or false statement placed in a program to indicate that the developer thinks that the predicate is always true at that place. If an assertion evaluates to false at the runtime, an assertion failure results, which typically causes execution to a bot. So as you can see in the statement, assertion is a predicate. It returns true or false statement. That's it. So we try to expect always true from the result of an assertion. If there is any false return type, then surely the test will fail and it will skip to the next method or the next evaluation that we have. Right? So this is what is assertion is all about. And N unit framework available to the Visual Studio is the biggest manifestation of what assertions in C sharp can do. Right? There are a lot of methods available in assertions and you can do a lot of statement checkings. So we have already discussed working with assertion in part 6 of this series while working with Code.UI Test Builder. To verify a control exists or control contains a specific text, we can use the assertions. So in any unit framework, there are different types of assertion methods available like R equals or not equals or not same or same etc. So we'll talk about some of the methods available in any unit framework while working with assertions in our code. So some of the most commonly used assertions are R equals or not equal, contains or same, etc. So we'll deal with some of the methods and we'll see how things work with code UI testing. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we have been working for a pretty long time right now. And now what I'm going to do uh, in assertion is I'm trying to see or trying to verify if my text which I have entered in the text box as Karthik is correct or not. So it seems to be a, a dummy kind of uh, assertions which we are doing but still it will show you how the assertions work with Visual Studio Code or UI testing and you will face this kind of situation a lot of time if let's say if you think that whatever details you have entered via automation is really reflected in your application's UI or not, then surely assertion will come very handy. So what I'm going to do is, let's say this is my website I have opened, and let's say I want to type Karthik here. And I want to verify whether the typed value in this text box Karthik is really available or not. So for that, we need to somehow get the text out from this control. So for that, we have already discussed in our code UI video series of how to get and set a property using Visual Studio. If you recollect from that particular video of this video series, you will know how to get the text out from a control. So we have not written that in this particular project. So let me quickly write that for you right now. And we can see how to get a text out from a, from a control. At the same time, we can also see how to assert the particular control. So let me first write a quick method here. So I'm going to write a method called public string get text. So for this, I'm going to have a parameter called property value. Just one parameter. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hard code the control here, just like HTML edit. So I'm not going to make this generic right now. So if you want, you can always make this get text method as well as very generic as we did for the enter text like this right so I'm not going to deep dive here because my intention for this video is to just verify how the assertion works right great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hard code the control here so HTML edit edit is equal to new HTML edit and we know the parent window property will have the browser window for us great and then I'm going to do a search properties for my HTML edit dot property name 
dot name so I'm gonna also pass the hardcoded property value here as well and this is the property value which we are passing great just the name if there is any ID that you are trying to verify surely this stuff is not going to work out again I'm just hard coding this I have not written any condition as we do here in this method and also for the custom method like this right so just to demonstrate how assertion works this code will be fine for this get text right and then there is one more method available like get property right this will get the property from the control remember in get and set properties of this video of the video series if you know if you have already read that particular article and watch that video you will be knowing this get property method very clearly right i would request you to watch that video of this video series to get more information on get properties as well right so the property name again i'm hard coding this property name also here which is text and dot to string so i'm going to convert that so i'm going to return this text from here because this return property of this get property is object so i'm going to convert this to two string right so this get text method will now return me the property value of text from this html edit great now i want to assert this so to assert there is a method called there is a class called assert just coming actually from Microsoft Visual Studio testing tool dot unit testing right great and then there are a lot of methods as I already told so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the R equal method a very simple and very basic method so it expects us two object parameters and my first parameter is going to be my expected value so the expected value is nothing but Karthik so I'm expecting Karthik as the text to be typed in my text box of the username and the actual value is nothing but the UI value of my application which is nothing but the one which you typed in the UI right here right so this you can get using this get text method so now we can make use of this get text all right and then I need to pass the property value the property value is nothing but the username right great and then there is one more parameter string message so this message will come only if the condition doesn't matches in the assertion right so I'm gonna say no match of actual versus expected great that's it super so why I have made this as a parameter as a username because what if I want to verify this particular control enter text so again I can call this get text very clearly just passing the parameter instead of username I can pass the initial right here that's why I just made this as a parameter great so let's try to first run this and see how things work so I'm going to clear this thing out and if I run this selector test now you expect this test to be passed all right it typed and hit the login great so things are working pretty much fine as expected so this is great so what I'm going to do right now is instead of this Karthik I'm going to already type some of the value like u u u or something like that and then if I try to run this test let's see how the assertion behaves for us right now hmm great see we got some error here it says assert.r equal failed the expected is Karthik but the actual is uuu Karthi okay so let's see the output here if I hit th there's a screenshot as well so if I hit this see it took the screenshot for the failure result as well okay great so now if I go back to my method here so and also if you go to this test it will say no match of the actual versus expected so there is a message so this is the message nothing but the one which we passed right here for the assert.r equal right great so this is how you can do assertion in code.ui testing 
and also you can do a lot of other assertions which is available like assert dot r not equal so you can do the reverse of it so it should not be equal so if i do r not equal which means this test will get passed so even if there is any value right there the test will still pass oops okay. all right now if i close this and now if i go to the text explorer and if i hit run teletext test You see that the test is running without any exception because we're just doing a opposite of the what the one which we did already right and similarly there are some other method as well like r not equal of type generic so you can pass the generic parameter itself or not same or same equals fail etc great so these are the different kinds of assertions which is available with code UI testing. You can make use of this in code UI testing. Actually, this is available in any unit. I'm sorry for that. Great. So thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.